yo creo que este es, eh, creo que son cinco, como cinco capítulos, cinco viajes, cinco personajes que nos recogen. Llevamos tres, así que entiendo de que, de que es, puede ser que a lo mejor nos quede una U. Uh. Esto no, esto no, vamos, vaya, vaya cambio, tío. Hasta el momento siempre, siempre hemos estado acompañando a, a la peña de copilotos O cuando hemos estado ahí sentados tomándonos algo Pero esto ya cambia mucho el cuento ¿eh? Teléfono y caja de fósforos Llamar número Para pedir ayuda Muy buenas, miaus Sinceramente, el primero tenía más pinta de secuestrador Que... Hello. Ver. Copernicus, is that you? Sí, ayúdame a salir de aquí. Let me guess. You gotten yourself into some kind of jam, swinging by your toes over a tiger cage. Lo único que sé es que estoy en el maletero de un coche. Locked in a trunk. That doesn't sound like part of your dream. How'd you manage that? Es una larga historia. Fui encerrado por el hombre con muchos ojos. Ah, vale, es verdad. Que eso es otra cosa. Supuestamente hay un personaje que se llama el hombre de los muchos ojos y que hay que tener cuidado con él. Entonces, bueno. I sincerely doubt that. The fact that I'm hearing your voice now suggests otherwise. Aunque él la atrapó, necesito rescatarla. De cualquier forma, ¿por qué está, por qué está fuera buscando atraparme? Well, don't say I didn't warn you. You've sworn to deceive me, Vern. I'm going to feed the birds now. I want to know the truth. Look where that got you. Vale, ya probaste tu punto. Speaking of which, did you find the box, Copernicus? Sí. La que está con llave, sí, en el buzón. Have you opened it yet? No, no, le, no he encontrado la llave. Figure out a way to open that box, Copernicus. Inside, you'll find out who you really are. Me ayudaría en algo si encuentro el hombre con muchos ojos. Don't mess with him, kid. He's the final gatekeeper. Way too strong. You need to learn the spell first before you can go up against him. Hey, if I knew it, I'd tell you. But let's start by getting you out of that box. Lucky for you, I've got my farmer's almanac here. Let's have a look. Hang on. See, see, cabbage, caraway, carrot, car trunk. First thing you should do is reach around for the latch sounds kind of obvious no, no hay ningún cierre ok, next step see if you can scare up the brake lights can you find them? it's a little gizmo with some wires lo conseguí ok yank on the wires and try to pull the lights into the trunk with you got them? what color are the lights? rojo We need a green light, kid. A steady green light. That's the way forward. Oh, porra, consigo, yes. Gotta run now. Good luck to you, kid. Anda, mira. Ahora nos ponen un puzzle para rellenar. Es que si no, no. El, es que si no, no tenemos faena. Necesitamos una luz verde. Positivo con negativo. Esto se puede tocar. What? Ah, vale. Esto es verde. Pues este no, hasta aquí no va. Vale. Si esto es prueba y error, pues tampoco es tan complicado, ¿no? A ver. Ah, 
Vaya, interesante. Vale, con este sí que va. Vale. Vale, se ve que hay algunos que... Hay algunos conectores que pueden funcionar en varios enchufes distintos. Se pueden conectar. Entonces... A ver... No. No. Pues entonces vamos a quitar... Ah, bueno, si me lo está diciendo, ¿no? Me está diciendo que aquí tiene que ir positivo. No. Positivo. Ah, no, 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 no. Me está diciendo que positivo no puede ser. Vale. Entiendo. Aquí solamente pueden ir negativos. Entiendo. Este solamente pueden ser negativos. Comprendo. Déjame que lo vuelva a probar otra vez. Aquí no puede ser verde. Y no puede ser redondo. O sea que este no puede ser. Vale, aquí solamente puede ir un negativo. Aquí... Eh, este iría. Aquí el verde con este no puede ser. Y tampoco puede ser este. Entonces tiene que ser un azul. Vale. Este... Positivo. Este aquí y este aquí. No. No, este me he equivocado. Vale. Vale, pero este no puede ser positivo. Este no puede ser positivo. ما أدري شو تتسوي بسيارتي بس من خبرتي بهذا المكان راح تسح بعدين. شو مي ولازن؟ إنجليش. إنجليش. آسف. ما أدري هاي مو صدق. بس أنا عش عربي. كاني من صدق حجة سعر. كل شيء إحنا أنا إلها دلالة رمزية. الستيرن، الجير، ولا القرن على الدشبول. حس حد لو أحد إيدي من الستيرن السيارة من كيف تمشي عدل بس من أقوم أشوف إنه هذا جنهل هسا شنو هو اللي تغير وإذا هاي كله إشارات شنو معنى ماله أدري هاي مو صدق بس أنا عش عربي كاني من صدق حجة سعر إيه معود على كيفك عريد أوقف Traduce las palabras del conductor. Wake up. Despierta, ¿no? en español
And the sweet fireflies, they dance in the night. They are stumbling on my way back to you. I'm sitting here, my gaze is drifting over the horizon. English. No, sorry. I could, of course, back in the real world, but it doesn't seem to have come with me into this place. Estamos hablando en inglés ahora. To me, this sounds like Arabic. I guess it depends on one's perspective. Anyway, as long as you're not going to start shouting at me again, it's an improvement. Me has secuestrado? Kidnap you? I don't think my singing is that bad. ¿Cómo fue que terminé en tu maridero? How would I know? It's not even my car. ¿Por qué lo estás manejando? No idea. I find myself behind the wheel here night after night. And the trunk, that's my dream too. You don't want to know how many hours I've spent in there trying to shift my legs to keep them from falling asleep. Sé que eres el siguiente guardia. What do you mean? Whose guard? Yours? Todo conductor resulta que ya nos hemos conocido antes. ¿Por qué no solo me dices de qué se trata todo esto? Why should I know? What makes you think you can turn up out of thin air and interrogate me? Who are you anyway? Eh, ¿Cómo he salido del maletero? Pues eh, la verdad es que he tenido que hacer un puzzle. Me he hecho un puzzle y me he dejado salir. Di tú primero quién eres. Como sea, ¿cómo te llamas? I'm, I'm not sure actually, but here, it's funny. On this highway, everybody calls me Al Shatir. Mi casualidad que me pongo a jugar y empiezan a llamar todo el mundo, Oli. Ahí te quedas. Porque es gracioso. A mí me llaman Copérnico. Never heard of Ibn Al Shatir, a famous astronomer. Anda. I guess you don't learn about him in your schools. One of the forefathers of astronomy, in many ways a predecessor to... Copernico? Yes, that's right. Gracias de cuál fue en forma, ese es mi nombre aquí. Copernicus, al Shatir. Two iconoclasts from different lands, who challenged the belief that the sun revolved around the earth. Two dreamers, who had the conviction that their unique consciousness is not the only thing in the center of the universe. Maybe you're not just part of my story, like I'm not part of yours. You were trapped in the trunk, where I've been many times. It's like you've wandered into my dream, and I've wandered into yours. Lo está comentando ahora, miaos. Nosotros supuestamente estamos en este coche, pero él ahora mismo está diciendo de que esto es un sueño o no sé qué. O sea que, bueno, como el juego es una fumada, ya te puedes creer cualquier cosa. Encuentro esto difícil de entender. Takes a leap of faith, I know, to admit that we both exist. Vale, ahora tenemos descanso de este. A ver qué tenemos por aquí. Esto todavía no tenemos la llave para abrirla. ¿Conoces el hombre con muchos ojos? El hombre con muchos ojos. No, he run across many strange things recently, but not that. Así que entonces, ¿de quién estás oyendo? From wars, from bombings, from the cockroaches that crawl out as soon as the dust settles. On the news, you hear only about armies and religious madmen, but it's the gangsters that drove me away. They're the ones who did this to me. ¿Cómo terminaste en este lugar? I'm one of the ones who didn't make it. Not all the way. I'm stranded somewhere in between, trying to complete the journey every night in my sleep. ¿Cómo fue que empezó tu viaje? The El Mahdi army. They called themselves an army anyway. They were looking for my brother-in-law because he worked as a translator for the US military. 
Neighbors warned us we should move. And so we did. Twice. Dos veces? Yes, twice. No sooner had we moved the first time, the neighbors started telling us that we should move again. That there were people looking for us. By this point, we already felt a bit like exiles. And once you're in exile, you never stop being one. The hard part was, will always be, leaving our first house. That's the house I grew up in. The backyard, where we used to sit and tell stories, where we would pick oranges from our own orange tree. ¿Qué ocurrió en la siguiente casa? A few years passed and we forgot about the threat. Life had returned to normal. And that's when they came back and picked me up. Two days later, when I woke up in a Baghdad hospital, I found out that they dumped me off there and told the hospital that I'd hurt myself in a work accident. Fue en ese momento que decidiste salir. Yes. After that, I couldn't stay. Cuéntame acerca de tu vida. The women in my family, my mother, my sisters, they were the only ones who knew. ¿Por qué los hombres no? I was very close to the women in my family. They were the ones who were around all the times while I was recovering. The men, my father, my brothers, always working, always out of the house. I got on a plane to Istanbul, where my cousin lived. He took me to Izmir, where the smugglers are. They're easy to find. I bought a space on a vessel, headed to Mytilene, Greece. The closest harbor in Europe. ¿Qué tipo de barco? Just a simple raft, but not as overcrowded as in some of the stories you hear. I was lucky, at least in the beginning. We couldn't leave for five days. Too many Greek army ships in the sea. Every morning, getting up at 3.30 to make a go of it. <laughs> By the fifth day, I was so tired of waiting that I wasn't even scared to get on board any longer. Finally, impatience had overtaken fear. Cuéntame qué pasó luego. We did not make it to Europe. A boat pulls up next to us. People are trying to understand what's going on. But the men on the ship only speak Greek. At first, people are worried that it's pirates. They take everything from the passengers. Sometimes, Take the passengers themselves. Sometimes just ram the boat and laugh as it sinks. But no, these are police, it turns out. They take us back to Turkey where I'm waiting and waiting and waiting. Of course, I did not remember all this in my dreams at first. These were things I remembered. Remembered from clues I found along the highway. Suena falla. Todavía no me has preguntado acerca de mi sueño. What is your dream about? No estoy seguro. Puede ser solo una ruptura. A breakup? That's it. O puede ser un secuestro hasta algo peor. Ah, that's more like it. Who has been kidnapped? Who is this person that's been taken away from you? Do you have a photo? Who knows? Maybe I've seen her somewhere along this highway. I know her, the same woman, but with different hair color. I just saw her at the gas station a few miles back. Esa no es ella. Es, eso es un señuelo. A decoy? What kind of game are you playing here? Me suponía que era una trampa, pero falló. I say, you're lucky nobody got hurt. No sé, pero todo fue idea de ella. You sure? Didn't she also warn you that you're the one pulling the strings here? ¿Cómo sabes que ella me dijo eso? Well, that's their motto at Dante's. Customer is always white. They say that to all the patrons there. But listen, did she ask you to let her change forms? To assume a different identity? Sí, dijo que podía convertirse en ella, mi novia. And what did you say? Dije que no. That's right. How do I put this? In this place, it's important to see things for what they really are. Keep them pinned down. The moment you start shifting things around to suit your needs, well, you're like Pandora, opening the box. 
Así que, ¿qué era lo que ella estaba haciendo en la estación de combustible? There was a scene there at the gas station. She was being questioned by two men. She seemed to be explaining herself, pointing at the empty passenger seat in her car. They didn't really seem interested in her, though. They were more interested in the empty car seat. ¿Cómo ellos lucían? O sea, ¿cómo eran? ¿Te diste cuenta de qué era lo que querían? No exactly. There was a lot of pointing at the passenger seat in her car and shrugging. It seemed they'd lost something or someone. The leader, he seemed very unhappy. A guy in an orange vest. Chaleco naranja, así que era toda una trampa. A trap. So they were looking for you? Creo que sí. Sounds like getting in my dream, getting in the trunk. May have saved your neck. El tío principal, ¿podría ser que tuviera un brazalete con círculos en su brazo? No, I didn't get a look. I just heard one strange thing they said that they were looking for a guy with eight fingers. They were going to find him. Ocho dedos. Something like that. Eight fingers. Eight, eight digits, maybe. Ocho dígitos. Soy yo. Tengo su número de teléfono. Ajá. Uh -huh. And you wouldn't happen to have a strange blue box with you, would you? ¿Por qué? That was the other thing they mentioned. They have the key, but don't want the box opened. Jolín, ¿y esto? Me imagino por qué. ¿Te diste cuenta en cuál dirección se fue? No, I didn't get a look. Say, have you noticed how many tumbleweeds there are suddenly? I don't know, but the weather also seems to be turning suddenly. No, no, sí, Turn on the radio and see if you can find a weather report. My God, get that thing off the window! Get it off! Get it off! Come on. It seems to be changing the weather conditions. Sunny skies. Sunny skies today, and we could hardly ask for better weather. A balmy 72 degrees, with mild breezes throughout the day. Although there is only a 10% chance of rain, this good weather can't last forever. Sunny skies today, and we could hardly ask for better weather. A balmy 72 degrees, with sunny skies today, and we could hardly... Sunny skies. Doctor. Sunny skies. Sunny skies. Suddenly, it's sunny. It's not working. They're stuck to the car. We need some other kind of weather to get clear of them. Otro tipo de clima. Luego menuda fumada, tío. Y es que lo estaba pensando, yo digo, tiene pinta de tornado esto. Sí, también lo creo. 
and the eyes on those things. It seemed they were spying, searching for something. Did you notice? What do you know about these guys, the ones who are after you? Ryo tiene muchos ojos, como diez. Seems he had a few extra to spare for the tumbleweeds. Es por eso que estaba preguntando por el brazalete antes. Él dirige una especie de agencia de viajes. I see. What else? Bueno, tengo una tarjeta de visita. Oh, let's see. Back on tours. Not directly, no. But I've heard about them. From a guy in Istanbul I met. He had made it through to Europe. But then had come back to get his family. But that's another story. He had come across this Balkan tours on his way back from Serbia. He warned everyone about them who would listen. Apparently, they had a charitable program to help refugees, promising to help them. But no one who accepted their help was ever seen from again. People just disappeared. And it wasn't just people in the refugee community either. Tourists too. There were strange stories. Serbia? Mi novia estuvo allá el verano pasado. Did she mention anything about this Balkan tours to you? Nunca mencioné ese nombre. Yes, I guess merely the fact that you ever saw her again suggests otherwise. Still, it seems like a connection. Creo que ya lo conoció de alguna forma. Ya he estado enviándole mensajes de texto. La de tramas es que se montan las guionistas, pues sí, Horus. Estoy de acuerdo, macho. Estoy de acuerdo contigo. La verdad es que este es uno de los juegos... Eh, mira que he jugado muchos, muchos juegos. Muchos juegos. Desde que tengo el canal. Raros. Pero hacía mucho tiempo que no he encontrado un juego tan, tan, tan raro, macho. Puede ser que esté en el top de los raros. Y cuando digo raro me refiero fumada, total. Well, I hope she hasn't fallen into their hands now. Some of the stories circulating around refugee camps in Serbia at this time. I only heard bits and pieces. Nothing very clear. Mirrors. Rooms full of mirrors. People losing their minds and never coming back. El hombre con ojos de espejo. Yes. People who were heading from Turkey into Croatia and Serbia were being warned about it. Watch out for mirrors. Rooms full of mirrors. Rooms full of ice. Necesito hacer algo para ayudarla. Well, my friend, I think right now the best thing you can do is run for safety. They probably have a good beat on your location. Assuming the tumbleweeds were on their payroll. Make no mistake, these guys are dangerous. ¿Qué es lo peor que me puede pasar si esto es un sueño? Well, we've all been in a dream we've wanted to wake up from, but couldn't, right? Entonces, Let's just say there are people who thrive on that fear and have ways of keeping you from waking up. Qué miedo. Exactly. What did you do to these guys anyway? Why you? Ay, mira, chicos, de verdad que no me dejan en paz. Perdonar. No lo sé, pero esta caja que está atrás de ella. Where did you get the box? Eso, están detrás de la caja. Mi novia me la dio. They must be worried about what's inside. Worried it will expose them all the things they've done to her and to all the other people they've hurt. Así que ¿cuál es el plan? ¿A dónde estamos yendo? I wish I knew. Even if I make it to my destination, I'm still not home. That's what it means to be in exile. ¿A dónde vamos exactamente? My niece, Nadia, used to ask me that question all the time. Where are you going, uncle? She was the only young person who knew I was leaving. Imagine, she knew when my father didn't. I was always mad at my sister for telling her. She would ask me that when I was putting her to bed. ¿Qué le dijiste? The only thing you can tell when a person that young asks you a question like that at bedtime. 
I told her the truth. Not the truth truth, but the truth wrapped in the blanket of a story. There's a place where the river Tigris runs through Baghdad. A place called the Two-Story Bridge. When I was a kid, I would go fishing there and look out at the water and wonder where it all led. As a child, I was told that the farthest place on the earth from Baghdad is a place called Fiji. I would train my eyes on the horizon and imagine that all the water led there to the point where the sky met the earth. To my child's mind, Fiji was the place where the sky touches the earth. These people of Fiji, they must be very tolerant people to live in such a place where one has to stoop over at all times and can never stand up straight. Eventually, they resolved to leave and find a new home where the sky was farther from the earth where the panelist tree can grow high enough to be woven. So they left this land right under the sky, leaving behind those people so old and bent that they no longer cared to stand up straight. The other Fijians gradually moved away from the edge of the world, and the sky got a little higher, and then they found a marvelous place. It was fertile and lush, with excellent weather, an orange tree for every backyard. But there was one problem, earthquakes, terrible earthquakes, as frequent as rains during the springtime in this country, all because the sky was still close to the earth. When there's thunder, it echoes off the roof of the sky and causes the ground to break. But the Fijians adjusted. They built their entire civilization out of rubber. Rubber houses with rubber beds that would sway during the quakes, with rubber restraints that would hold the sleeping Fijians tight while they dreamed. <laughs> but Nadia didn't want a bedtime story about that. Mm. She wanted a story about good and evil, the kind of story children like. So I changed it for her to be about a Fijian princess called Nadia, who finds the source of all the earthquakes. Pensé que ya habías dicho que era el trueno. Yes, but it's a child's bedtime story. You can change the details as you go along. So. Nadia finds a dragon hiding under the earth. A dragon with a splinter in its toe, whose terrible roaring causes the earth to break. Nadia slays the dragon and saves the people by uttering a magic spell. Konothi, say out ton. ¿Qué es lo que quiere decir? Konothi, say out ton. It's actually Greek. Rolls right off the tongue, no? Konothi, say out ton. Okay, that was interesting. Can you say that again? All the mirror eyes closed. Este es el hechizo que Bert dijo que necesitaría. ¿Qué es lo que esas palabras significan? I'm not sure. I think something about closing eyes. Suena como lo que necesito. Seems like it. And look, that's not the spell's only power. The card. There's a phone number on it now. Do you know what this means? I think you're ready to make a certain phone call. Para Balkan Talks. Right. Ready to put your spell to use? Esto listo. Good. Do you have a phone? Sí, pero no es mío. Pertenece a la mesera. Even better. So, here's the plan. You call them and tell them you want to sign up for a tour. ¿Qué tipo de tour? Doesn't matter. A tour of the Badlands, whatever. Just something to get close enough to them to find out what's going on. Here's the thing. 
If they act like they're taking you on a tour, everything's good. But if they've figured you out, they'll try to distract you while they kidnap you. Take it from me. They tell you someone you care about is in danger, but don't believe it. If everything's fine, then everything's fine. But if someone you know is in danger, it's a trap. Get out of there. Are you ready? Dial the number. Este Balkan Tours. Yep. What can I help you with? Me gustaría comprar un tour. That's a big park. You near the Argus gas station on Route 90? Sí, lo estoy. All right. I'll pick you up in an hour. Recogerme. ¿Qué te parece si vas bien? Yo voy para allá. You don't have a car, do you? ¿Cómo lo sabías? Just guess from your voice. So, see you in an hour. ¿Dónde nos encontramos exactamente? ¿Cómo te voy a encontrar? No te preocupes, te encontraré. ¿Qué? Pues nada. So, it worked then? Pues no sé qué decirte. ¿Qué está pasando contigo? ¿Isn't that how these things normally work in the stories of this country? ¿Qué quieres decir? Other characters shows up impart some hard-earned wisdom, then conveniently fades away. No te desvanezca, necesito tu ayuda. It's a few minutes before 3.30 in Istanbul. There's another raft waiting. Another try. Buena suerte. Thanks. To you too. I think you'll be fine. You have allies all along this road, even in the cars of enemies. I've left something for you. Abrir. Hey, sorry I haven't written in a while. 